see on television are game shows. They're led by presenters and they're led by production. The production value of this may not be quite as high as who wants to be a millionaire, but what we do have is great contestants and good content. Uh, we're in Pontefract for the first round, the 12 rounds of Q12 altogether. We're playing for £1,000 today in the place in the final, and the final will be worth £10,000 to the winner. We're at Pontefract, historic Pontefract, the last castle to fall during the Civil War. We have uh, the place where Richard II died. Not many places can lay claim to regicide. And the Parkside Inn, which overlooks Pontefract Racecourse, the longest continuous flat course in the country, I do believe, which is not quite Epsom or Ascot, but occasionally you will see a group of old nags cavorting around in an attempt to win a paltry amount of money, which brings us to the contestants today. We've got Phil Cooper, who played in the local quiz league, Don Purdy, Landlord, and uh, a champion, I believe, of last year's quiz league. Dan Halligan won a lot of money on a lot of programmes. Steve Stenson, I think personally, the best all-round quizzer in the Five Towns Quiz League, but don't tell him. Lee Warburton, the Oracle of Driglington, Pat Gibson. <laughs> Mark Kerr, also multiple winner on multiple programmes. His last effort was the People's Quiz, which wasn't so successful, but we had a good look around London. Barry Simmons, again part of the current master team of Radio 4, an all-round egghead that won't be tied in a pop music crop. So we've got Mike Steer, we've got Simon Curtis, We've got Kate and we've got Chris and we've got a great team here tonight. Round one of Q12 is 12 minutes of questions. Each question, answered correctly, is worth one point. All the contestants have a buzzer. When I hear the buzzer, we'll ask the person for the right answer. If they get it, it's worth one point. If they're wrong, they lose half their current score. Now, what happens at the end of 12 minutes, we'll have one extra question and the first eight people, the eight people with the best scores, will go through to the next round. I'll explain more about the next round when it arrives, but let's get on with round one of Q12. Contestants, fingers on the buzzers, please. In which film did Whoopi Goldberg play the lot? Ten. Simon Curtis. Sister Act. Sister Act is worth one point. The second question. Well done, the first point ever on Q12. Under what name did former model and Danish singer Sammy Carlson with six Pat Gibson? Wigfield. Wigfield is the correct answer. Which Scottish island became linked to the mainland? Three, Diane Halligan. Sky. The Isle of Sky is the correct answer. Talisca. Next question, fingers on the buttons. Dylan Mills. Six, Pat Gibson. Dizzy Rascal. Uh, I'll accept Dizzy. Well done. Dylan Mills, John Burks, Gillespie, and Benjamin Israeli have all used what name? Round of applause for that one, I think, don't you? Right. Next one. Alf Parry, Alf Pagen, Richard Burton, and Henry Cotton all played which? Seven. Mark Kerr. Go. Golf is correct. All uh, open champions, I do believe, in the 1930s. But don't quote me on that. In which country were the 1990 World Cup final? Five. Lee Warburton. Italy. Italy is correct answer for one point. What colour is the Northern Line? Four. Steve Stenson. Black. Black is the correct answer. The whole flood is correct answer. This is awesome, people. What colour are the flowers of a periwinkle? Three, Diane Halligan. Blue. Blue or violet? I'll allow. <laughs> of course I'll allow. It's right. What part, people, was played by Phil Harris? Ten, Simon Curtis. Mm, Baloo the Bear. Baloo the Bear is precisely the right answer. Good press. Which actor founded the Anaheim Angels along with the Cowboy Code? He was often referred to as the Singing Cowboy. Eight, Barry Simmons. Tom Mix. Tom Mix is loose out his score. <laughs> Next, six, Pat Gibson. Gene Autry. Gene Autry is correct. Home, home on the range. What can be 
a sexual position, an insect. Nine, Mike Steer. Lotus. Unlucky. Lotus isn't an insect without that. <laughs> I'll finish the question. An Andy Williams hit or a swimming stroke? Four, Steve Stenson. Uh, butterfly. Butterfly, which of those four are you familiar with? <laughs> Andy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly at the three minute stage, we'll get a score check after the next question. What was the nationality of the man who, by defeating Floyd Patterson in 1954, Steve Stenson? Uh, Swedish. Swedish is a great answer, good two points. And we'll have a look at the scores. Peter, can you give us anything on these? We can. And the lead, Steve, is Pat Gibson with three, Steve Stenson also with three, Diane Halligan with two, Simon Curtis with two, and following on behind the lead and the mark both with one point. The remainder have yet to score. What do the numbers of a dice? Ten, Simon Curtis. Seven. Three, Diane Halligan. Twenty-one. Twenty-one is correct. I will endeavour to tell you when people are wrong or right. I thought seven was so obviously wrong. <laughs> Twenty-one, Diane. Congratulations. Next question. To two years, either way, when did Charles Dickens die? Eight, Barry Simmons. 1880. I'm afraid I can't give you that, it's wrong. Seven, Mark Kerr. 1870. 1870 is precisely correct. You could have had two years either way, that would have been right. <laughs> From 1970 slash 71, which company has produced a football yearbook? Ten, Simon Curtis. Uh, Rothmans. Rothmans is the correct answer. Whose picture did Top of the Pops use as a backdrop? To Six, Pat Gibson. Jockey Wilson. Jockey Wilson is a great press. And lots of people pressed there. How many people do we have in there? Pat, Only Mike and Don Purdy all pressed in with Jockey Wilson without even knowing it. <laughs> Libretto for the Savoy Operas. Would you? Eight, Barry Simmons. Richard Diley Cart. I'm afraid not. Seven, Mark Kerr. Gilbert. Gilbert is the correct answer. Next question, fingers on the buzzers please. Who did Michael Caine play in the Ypres? Six, Pat Gibson. Palmer. Harry Palmer. Alan, Harry Palmer is the correct answer. Where is the English terminal of the Channel Tunnel? Seven, Mark Kerr. Waterloo. Unlucky. Six, Lee Warburton. Oh. Six, five, Lee Warburton. Folks, <laughs> <laughs> is the correct answer. Next question. How many edges does a cube have? Eight, Barry Simmons. Twelve. Well, this is the correct answer. We're going to the halfway stage. I'll read one more question and we'll have a look at the scores. Rudolf Hess was the last. Ten, Simon Curtis. Uh, Spandau Prison. Spandau Prison is the correct answer. And who's in the lead, Peter? Pat Gibson remains in the lead on his own this time with five, followed by Diane, Simon, and Steve all on three. Lee Warburton's on two, Mark with one and a half, Barry with one. Chuck, Don, Kate, Mike and Phil have yet to score. So getting tight at the bottom. Next question coming up. Good luck, everybody. Who played student Alan Moore in Rising Down? Four, Steve Stenson. Uh, Richard Beckinsale. It's correct, just in time. On the radio, what did the initials IT? Nine. Mike Steer. It's that man again. Well done. You would have liked them, were you? No. <laughs> Next question. How many cars are there in a standard tarot? Seven. Mark Kerr. 78. 78 is correct. Next question. What was the maiden name of tennis player Billy? Seven. Mark Kerr. Moffat. A whole flurry of pressures and Mark has got the correct answer with Moffat, Billy Jean King. The Tsar Colocol is the... Eight. Barry Simmons. The largest bell in the Kremlin. It's a bell. The Sarkolico is the biggest lot in the world, but the bell would have been correct. The largest bell in the Kremlin in the world. Correct answer. Next modest. question. In which city were the 1960 Olympic Seven. Mark Kerr. Rome. Rome is the correct answer. What is the name of the dog, which is a trademark? Of Seven. Mark Kerr. Nipper. Nipper is a correct answer, you're on a roll. More Olympics. Who lit the Olympic flame at the opening? Ten, Simon Curtis. 
Time's up. Eight, Barry Simmons. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is correct. The Atlanta Games. What lasted from Easter Monday, April the 24th, to April the 30th in 1916? Three, Diane Halligan. The Easter Rising. The Easter Rising is correct. Next question. What can be a seabird, a fabric, a fine cut tobacco, or a dance? Three, Diane Halligan. Shag. Shag. We'll love it when you talk dirty to me. <laughs> what was the currency of Austria prior to the... Seven, Mark Kerr. Shilling. Shilling is the correct answer. We have got one more question to go at the three-quarter stage coming up. If you suffer from brontophobia... Ten, Simon Curtis. Thunder. Thunder is the correct answer. Going into the last three minutes, such expressions there. Well, Steve, we have four players who are in danger at the moment, more than zero, but just ahead of them is Mike Steer with one, Lee with two, Simon 2.5, the remainder look fairly clear at the moment. Okay, those of you on two and three, don't lose any points here. Good luck, everybody. Who is the owner of Faros, Swift, Emma and Linnet, the latest quartet of about 30? Top six, Pat Gibson. The Queen is correct. Nice risk with five points on the belt. Next question. What name is given to a racing tipster's best selection? Ten, Simon Curtis. No. Nap is correct. Next question. I hope I pronounced this correctly. Beat the man from the tower. Aglia. Eight, Barry Simmons. Three graces. Yeah. Charity except graces before recording. Aglia. I can't pronounce these ones. It's Birth, the good tier of beauty. Cause the problem what begins at home, charity that I accept graces. Next question. In 1944, he twice received. In 1944, in 1944, <laughs> in 1944, he twice received the Distinguished Flying Cross for actions in combat and was awarded the Croix de Guerre. He also received the Air Medal with three Oak Leaf clusters, one of only a few Americans to rise from private colonel in four years. Who starred in the Philadelphia story? Six, Pat Gibson. Jimmy Stewart. James Stewart is correct. If a car bears the initials GBZ. Don Purdy, number two. Gibraltar. Gibraltar is correct. Next question. Helvetia. Seven, Mark Kerr. Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. Next question. In 1992 and until 2000, who was Director General of the BBC? Nine, Mike Steer. John Burt. John Burt is correct with almost one minute left. Oxford Circus, Warren Street, Palmer Green, Swiss Cottage, Great Portland Street, Stepney Green, Holland Park, The Angel, Holland Park, The Angel, Dollis Hill, Elkham Castle, Archway, Osterley. Play to the famous Argyle Street Parabola, what was the final eponymous move to this particular game, one of the quick... Ten, Simon Curtis. Oh, it's incredible. Correct. Round of applause, please. What was the name of the disgraced Bishop of Argyle in the Isles, who, in 1996, was declared father to a teenage boy? Right Reverend Roderick Wright. Riccioli, Celentani, and Tagliatelli are all forms of what? Seven, Mark Kerr. Pasta. Pasta is the correct answer. It was a tie. Kate, what were you going to say? Pasta is worth one point to Kate. In which British new town are the headquarters of the open? Five, Lee Warburton. Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes is the correct answer. We've got just over 30 seconds left. Kangaroos, koala bears, and wombats all belong to two, Don Purdy. Marsupials. Marsupials is the correct answer. Who loves you, baby? Was the cat Nine, Mike Steer. Oh, Jack. And Simon Curtis equals. Same answer. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> you that. Two Kojaks. From which country is the car bearing the letters ZA originate? Two, Don Purdy. Zambia. Unlucky. Wrong. Eleven, Kate Cooper. I wish it was, sorry. Number one, Phil Cooper. Is that you? No. Wrong. Lose half your points. No other answers, uh, past me. <coughs> From which country does the car bearing the letters ZA original originate? ZA, it's South Africa. Right, we've got one question left. So. Go for it if you want to. Who reached number one for the first time featuring on the song Relight My Fire? Twelve, Chuck Hobson. Lulu. Lulu is correct. Peter, can you tell us who got through to the semi-final? 
I can't see in first place Mark Kerr with 8.5, Pat Gibson followed it with 7, Simon with 5.5, Diane Halligan with 5, Barry Simmons with 4, Steve Stenson with 4, Lee Warburton with 3, Mike Steer with 3. Unfortunately, we therefore lose Chuck, Don, Kate, and Phil at this stage. Thanks very much, folks. We'll be back in five minutes for round two of Q12. Time taken to set them. So, contestants, I hope you're ready for the first question. What city, for six points, was founded in 43 BC as the Roman colony of Lugdunum? Number seven, Mark Kerr. Um, Leon. Absolutely correct. A fantastic answer. Well done. Yes, worth a round of applause. Six points. What a waste of questions, I think. <laughs> Look at it all. Next question. What am I describing? An insurgent caucus led by Emmanuel Joseph Fayez and the Comte de Mirabeau proclaimed itself the National Assembly. For five points. The official old National Assembly responded by swearing in what is known in history as the Tennis Court Oath. For four points, on July the 14th, the Bastille ate Barry Simmons. French Revolution. The French Revolution is the correct answer that symbolised the despotism of the Bourbons with stormed and captured, etc., etc. That was for four points. According to Encarta Encyclopedia, who was the chief proponent of the aesthetic movement based on the principle of art for art's sake? For five points, he was a novelist, an essayist, a poet, and a critic. For four points, he was born on October the 16th, 1854. For three points, he wrote, and the wild regrets and the bloody sweats none knew so well as I, for he who lives more lives than one, more death than one must die. For a meagre two points, it was part of the ballad of Red... Number seven, Mark Kerr. Oscar Wilde said very confidently, two points. Next question, fingers ready please. What name was given to three related European car models made between 1972 and 1994? For five points, they were made at Cologne and at Dagenham. For four points, latterly they were badged as the Scorpio in May. Seven, Mark Kerr. Sierra. Lose four points. 10, Simon Curtis the four Granada. The Granada is the correct answer for four points. What word links? Baseball player Phil Rizzuto and Scott Webster from Degrassi. I know we all watch it. Hiran Makuna. It was in Coronation Street. For four points. A bespectacled orange muppet, nephew of J.P. Gross. Nine, Mike Steer. Scooter. Back in the house, <laughs> yeah. Scooter is correct. So I said H.P. Baxter, a.k.a. Sheffield Dave, the creator of Movie Audacity Messenger, 
Lewis Libby in the news recently, and uh, a board with two wheels and a long handle, scooting the pet down for great points. That was worth, I believe, four points. Who has appeared in a 1985 music video for the Bangles going down to Liverpool? For five points, the Simpsons episodes, Marx vs. the Monorail, and the Springfield Files. Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy had a fantastic five points, so Mike Steele, welcome. Worth a round of applause, I think. <laughs> One more question and we'll have an update on the scores. What is about 820 miles long? For five points, it has two distributaries, the Lek and the Vol, spelled, D, spelled W A A L. For four points, it has two main initial tributaries called the Vorda and the Hinter. For three points, it forms some part of the northern frontier of the Roman Empire. For two points, Basel, Strasbourg, six, Pat Gibson. The Rhine. The River Rhine is correct. It's the first time I've ever heard of a distributory that apparently splits into two in Holland. Which TV programme first screened in the UK on January 6, 2006? For five points, it was produced by 20th Century Fox Television. For four points, it's an Emmy Award winning American sitcom created by Greg Garcia. For three points, a $100,000. Number three, Diane Halligan. My Correct. name is Earl. <laughs> My name is Earl, I'm just trying to be a better person. And that was uh, three points for Diane. Let's have an update on the scores from Peter. Uh, in the lead at the moment, Steve, it's Mike Steer on nine points, uh, Barry, Mark and Simon each with four, uh, Diane with three, Pat Gibson with two, and Lee Warburton and Steve Stenson yet to get off the mark. It's early days. Thank you very much, Peter. Next question. Who, as of March 2007, had enjoyed 10 years of British chart success? For five points, including nine solo hits in the top 40, one of them reaching number two. For four points, almost more significant, significantly, he's been co-credited 17 times in the top 40, with artists as varied as Farrell Williams, Foxy Brown, Another Level, Gwen Dickey, and Lincoln Park. The variety came at the end there. For three points, this year, in 2007, he's enjoyed two number ones alongside Beyonce and Rick. Nine. Mike Steer. Jay-Z. Jay-Z is correct. For three points, which I believe... Mike has 12, he's safe. A little round of applause for the first person to the final. <laughs> he was also the first person to pay his money as well. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Which popular American cable television program had the original broadcast run on HBO from 1998 until 2004 for a total of six seasons. For five points, an issue of FHM magazine listed the lead character as one of the most annoying characters in television history. It asked, supposedly she'd become a feminist. Three, Diane Halligan. Sex and the City. How did you know Carrie was so annoying? I was gonna say after the first, on the first one, but I'm just, didn't there. Great five points. It has supposed to become a feminist icon. Does that mean that all women should have fighting, materialistic, cocktail swimming, swilling, home wreckers? Well done. Next question. That was worth five points. Who, for six points, was born in Washington, D.C., August the 12th, 1971, and is the third son, son of Sam and Georgia, Greek immigrants from Sparta? For five points, he married Bridget Wilson. Six, Pat Gibson. Pete Sanders.
For five points, pistol beats average. Great stuff. Next question. Which TV programme was set in a borough of North London called Northern? For five points, although when filming of this long sonic for five points, although when filming of this long running series moved to Liverpool. Grange Hill. Ten Ray Simon Curtis. Grange Hill is correct. Well interrupted. That was worth five points. Next question. What nickname links for six points? A character associated with Judge Dredd from the 2000 AD comic. For five points, a DJ who left Radio 1 in September 2006. For four points, Black Eyed Peas. For three points, Manchester United. Number five, Lee Warburton. Fergie. Fergie is correct. The Duchess of York was the obvious one coming up for number two. And that was worth three points. Next question. Who had Ray Milland, Bing Crosby and the Shah of Iran? For five points, an Academy Award. Not for best actor. For four points, dual American and Monegasque citizenship. Three, Diane Halligan. Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly, correct. That, how many points did that put Diane on? That was three points, uh, sorry, four points for that one. Was that for four? That was for four. Diane was safe, she's reached 12. Diane, for two. So it becomes tight at the top. Peter, can you give us a review of what's happening there, please? I can. Simon Curtis on nine, Pat Gibson on seven, Barry Simmons with four, and also Mark Kerr. Lee Warburton with three, Steve Stenson yet to get off the mark. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve, wake up. I like that. Who had been crossed there? <laughs> Next one. Stay down the middle. Next question. Which herd, for six points, has a Latin classification, Petrocellinum. Eight, Barry Simmons. Parsley. Great answer, full six points. A little round of applause for that one, I think. <laughs> Barry is now on 10 points. Don't leave it too long, people might get stuck in there. Next question, good luck, people. <laughs> Which country has the motto, freedom or else death? For five points, it has a population of just over 11 million. For four points, it's about 1,500 miles from Basra, it's about 1,500 miles from Moscow, and it's about 1,500 miles from Pontefract. For three points, Enna, Dio, Tria, Tessera and Pente are the first five numbers of that language. For two points, it has a blue and white flag. For one point, and a capital at Athens. Lee Warburton, five. Greece. Greece is correct. Hands up who wanted to say Greece before. Anybody wanted yeah, to get in there, Stevie? We're going to say on the two. Oh, we're going to get flight. What beverage was first brewed to commemorate a visit of Winston Churchill in 1950? For five points. According to Wikipedia, it's extremely popular amongst the homeless and travelling community. For four points, it comes in a can with a distinctive gold colour and red and white trim. It's brewed. Seven, Mark Kerr. Carlsberg Special Brew. Yes, three points. I think start the third three point question. It's brewed by Carlsberg Special Brew. A single die, bad manners, and at night and ABV, probably the original super strength lager. Who was born? I'll start that again. 
Who was born on May the 6th, 1856? For five points, in Freiburg, Moravia, it's now pre-bar in the Czech Republic. Died at the age of 83 in London. For three points, he's best known for his theories of the unconscious. Number six, Pat Gibson. Freud. Freud is the correct answer. Clement. <laughs> Sigmund. Next question. First name only required. Who is the Daily Sports columnist for 2007's Big Brother? For five points, take a cucumber and stick it up my fanny is probably her most famous quote. Do you know in the audience? For four points, on her first night in the Big Brother house, she said that she thought Makosi was lovely. Seven, Mark Kerr. Jade? I'm afraid it's not Jade, you lose four points. Is anybody else fresh? No. She thought Makosi was lovely and beautiful, but found Derek annoying. Her views changed once she'd entered the house proper. She's afraid of laps and believes in ghosts. For two points, she's half Polish and half curated. And for one point, which 2006 Big Brother housemate only has five questions about her? Her name was? Kinga. Kinga Karolczak. Next question. What name was given to the only surviving Peppercorn A2 class locomotive 60532? The winner of the 2000 Eclipse and the Epsom Derby in 1939. It may be used by fishing vessels to mean my nets have come fast upon an obstruction. It's a single by Mike Oldfield. A theme to a show of the same name. For Steve Stenson. Blue Peter. Off the mark with two points, Blue Peter. Which species, based on a subject, which species, based on a study of her fossilised bones, Sue died at 28 years of age, having reached full size at 19 years of age. For five points, Sue Hendrickson, an amateur paleontologist, discovered this most complete, more than 90%, and until 2001, the largest fossil skeleton of this type in the Hell Creek Formation near Faith, South Dakota, on August the 12th, 1990. Despite their size, for four points, three were lost in Strat San Diego. For three points in the film Jurassic Park 2. Ten, Simon Curtis. Um, uh, Velociraptors now. Not Velociraptor, lose three points. For two points, which Cretaceous theropod was the largest known carnivore? And for one point, his name translates to Tyrus. Six, Pat Gibson. T Rex, T Rex for one point. It's only two minutes of the tape left. Who is the only rock star mentioned by name, the only male rock star mentioned by name in singer Kurt Cobain's suicide note? Six, Pat Gibson. Neil Young. Not Neil Young, I'm sorry. Minus six points. For five points. He was 58 in the 2002 poll of 100 Greatest Britons in front of Tony Blair but behind Enoch Powell. For four points, he had a very close girlfriend named Mary Austin for many years. For three points, he had one solo UK number one but wrote 10 of the 17 tracks on the biggest selling album in the UK up to 2007. For two points, who was born Farrokh Bulsara? Eight, Barry Simmons. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is worth two points, which puts you in the final, I do believe. Yes, Barry's reached 12, well done, Barry. Who's favourite to get into the final now, on Pete? Well, it's pretty close. We've got Simon Curtis on six, followed closely by Pat Gibson now on five, following his gamble on the six that went wrong. Lee Warburton on four, Mark on three, Steve Stenson on two, so theoretically anyone could get through. Which group, people, have four UK number one hit singles, one UK number one album, and one US top ten hit? For five points, Miami, LA, and Hollywood were locations where they filmed. For four points, created by former Spice Girls manager Simon Fuller, they rose to fame via their own BBC television programme. Five, Lee Warburton. 
S Club 7? F Club 7 is correct, Tina Bella, etc. That was four, four points. Puts Leon one question away, Lee. What flower was planted by Edward Bloom outside of Sandra Templeton's window in order to win her heart in the film Big Fish? For five points, it has Belle, John Keel. Round three of the initial Q12 buzzer quiz. We've got four intrepid contestants left. Diane, Pat, Barry and Mike, who have all been extraordinarily well to get here. Pat he just got through on the bad skin of his teeth, but uh, it can't be pretty much favourite. So, round three of Q12 involves questions, buzzer questions, how unusual. Each question has a value of one point. If you get a question wrong, you don't lose any points. You lose a life. You only have three lives. Let's see how the mighty will progress during this last round. The prize is a place in the final in Oxford in December and £100. Good luck all players and may the best woman win. BBC is sure what. In which year did Richard Nixon resign as president? Eight. Barry Simmons. 1972. Is incorrect. Lose a life. Nine. Mike Steer. Nineteen seventy-three. Incorrect. Lose a life. In which year did Richard Nixon resign as president of the United States of America? Can I go again? Nobody wishes to press. It was. You can have a free guess. Seventy-four. A very astute tactic from Mike Steer, assuming that Barry wouldn't be two years old. <laughs> Next question. Let's get a move on. What is the largest Mediterranean island? Six, Pat Gibson. Sicily. Is worth one point. Next question. Which film company's logo is a woman holding up a light? Mike Steer. Columbia. Columbia is worth one point. Next question. Voted by Kerrang! magazine readers. The best band and the worst band. Which New Jersey outfit's best album was also? Nine, Mike Steer. Bon Jovi. No, minus one point. Best album was One Life, sorry. Best album was also the worst album in the same poll and entitled The Black Parade. Six, Pat Gibson. My Chemical Romance. Pat, Pat. My Chemical Romance. Is the correct answer worth another point? Next question. What nationality was the first climber to successfully ascend and return from the summit of Mount Everest? Sir Edmund Hillary. Three. Diane Halligan. New Zealander. He was a New Zealander, worth one point. Next question. What has Jacques Pertou invented to take the pop out of celebrations? A new kind of champagne cork. Which two sports are played with wooden mallets? Six, Pat Gibson. Paul Crockett. Correct, one point. In which year did the gunpowder plot fail? Eight, Barry Simmons. 1605. Is correct for one point. Which war saw Sorry. the charge of the light? Six, Pat Gibson. Crimean War. Crimean War is the correct answer. Peter, would you like to read the points out? Just a moment, Steve. Yes, at the moment, Pat Gibson is leading with four. Uh, and behind him, equally, Diane, Barry and Mike on one positive point. In terms of lives, Diane has three lives left. So does Pat. Barry has two. Mike, unfortunately, only has one. The Black Parade. Next question. Which actress played the part of Deirdre Rashid? Three, Diane Halligan. I'm Kirk Pride. For one point. Next question. What is the yellow piece in the board game? Nine, Mike Steer. Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard is worth one point. Next question. Who, who died on June the 15th, 1996, age 79, having won 13 Grammys and... 
Nine, Mike Steer again. Ella Fitzgerald. Correct. <laughs> One point. Yeah, very brave press for a man who's drinking at the last chance saloon. Next question. Which plants exchange carbon dioxide for oxygen at night in direct contrast to all other plants? Cacti. What is the third highest mountain in the world? Eight, Barry Simmons. Kachinchunga. Yes, I presume that's how you pronounce it. Good for you. Name either side of this record. The biggest fall from number one in British chart history occurred in 2007 when a double A side dropped from the top spot to number 20. One side being a jellyfish cover, the other being a re-release from McFly's third album. It was Babies Coming Back, backed with Transylvania. Next question. And Transylvania is part of which? Three, Diane Halligan. Romania. Romania is the correct answer. Which I believe might put you in the lead, I'm not sure. With a permanent seating capacity of over 257,000, and an infield seating that raises capacity still further to an approximate 400,000, known as the Brickyard and home. Six, Pat Gibson. Indianapolis. Indianapolis Speedway is correct, well done, one point. With a lesser known white variety, and a more famous blue one, which cheese is known as the king of... Six, Pat Gibson. Stilton. Stilton is correct, next question. The last to be born and the first to die of natural causes. And somewhat belatedly recognised as the first to have a UK number one album. Which Beatle had the, was the first to have a solo number one single? Three, Diane Halligan. George Harrison. George Harrison is correct. Apparently they awarded All Things Must Pass a number one spot very belatedly because of a postal strike at the time. Can you repeat the question? Last to be born. Last. The last to be born and the first to die of natural causes. Picky. Next one. What, according to Paul Simon, was the first of 50 ways to leave your look? Six, Pat Gibson. Slip out the back, Jack. Slip out the back, Jack, is the correct answer. The next question, good luck all players. The northern town of Hartley is a setting for which? Diane Halligan, number three. Juliet Bravo. Juliet Bravo is correct. Two more questions, we'll have an update on the scores. In which decade was the death penalty last carried out in the UK? Six, Barry Simmons. The 60s. 1960s is correct. Well done. One more question and then an update. A modest proposal. Six, Pat Gibson. Jonathan Swift. Jonathan Swift is a great answer. Peter, can we have an update on who's doing what and where? We can. In the lead at the present is Pat with eight points. Uh, followed behind him is Di, Diana with five. And Barry and Mike both have three. A modern standard sized piano has how? Diane Halligan. 88. <laughs> You've done that question before, I believe. Next question. It's an in job. Taking its name from the Greek words for beautiful and writing, what do we call it? Six, Pat Gibson. Calligraphy. Calligraphy is the correct answer. Next question coming up. Good luck, everybody. With the Latin name Papava Somniferent. Barry Simmons. Poppy. Poppy is correct, the open poppy to be more specific. Well done. Next question. German measles is... Number six, Pat Gibson. Rubella. Rubella is the correct answer, which puts Pat on ten points and two points away from a place in the final and 100 pounds. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Give the name, including the Christian name, of the policeman in the cartoon series Top Cat of... Six, Pat Gibson. John Dibble. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer, I'll lose a point. Would anybody else have, like to have a guess? Lose a life. I mean, point of life, whatever. It's Charlie. What kind of beans are normally used to make? Six, Pat Gibson. Harry Coke beans, you're one away from a magnificent victory. In 1930, what was the first country to win the football world? Eight, Barry Simmons. Uruguay. Uruguay is the correct answer, well done. What name is given to a young hare? Diane Halligan. Leverett. A leverett is the correct answer. Next question, it's a longer one. Currently operating the Tornado GR4 from RAF Lozimouth, during the Second World War, 617 Squadron flew out. Eight, Barry Simmons. Dan Busters. Well done.
Danvers is the correct answer. Can we have an update on the scores, please, Peter? You can. Pat has won off the championship here with 11 points, but closely following Diane with seven. Barry now with six. Mike's still on three. Mike's early life <laughs> squandering has cost him dearly, I believe, here. Next question. Who was Colonel-in-Chief of the 15th and 19th, the King's Royal Hussars, Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Highland Fusiliers, Colonel-in-Chief of Queen's Alexandra's Royal Army Nursing Corps, Deputy Colonel-in-Chief only? Three, Diane Halligan. The Queen. I'm afraid not. Lose a life. Deputy Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Anglian Regiment and ditched Lord Snowden for Robbie. Eight, Barry Simmons. Princess Margaret. Yeah, a real trooper, wasn't she? God bless her. Next question. What are the odds of making 21 with a single twist if one holds two sevens at pontoon? There's three, Diane Halligan. 25 to one. Correct, one in 25. A little round of applause for the ready yeah. for Ray. There are 50 cards remaining, two of them are sevens. What do the initials GI stand for? Eight, Barry Simmons. Glycemic index. I'm afraid not Barry, I'm sorry. Uh, are there any other pressures? Three, Diane Halligan. Government issue. Government issue is worth one point. How many points is Diane on now? Uh, Diane has nine. Nine. Diane, three points away from her place in the final. Go, girl. Diane has lost one life. Two, yes, yeah, just one. Yeah, yeah, two. Pat left. has lost one life. Correct. Play for good luck, players. Give both finalists in both the 2006 and the 2007 Wimbledon men's six Pat Gibson, Federer, and Nadal. Correct. A win for Pat Another Gibson, winner. who stormed through after a very narrow breakthrough in the second round. Well done, Pat. I hope we see you in Oxford in a few weeks' time for the final. You will. Commiserations to Diane. To Barry and Mike, a great effort, especially Mike getting through there having never played before. And if anybody else is watching and would like to enter, look at q12.com, that's q12.com or q12.co.uk. It will be going all around the country and with very slick production, I'm sure. Thank you very much. <laughs>